This has to be one of the most controversial rules incidents that I have seen in a very, very long time. You are not going to want to miss it. A player during the Charles Schwab has been very, well, selective in his wording to possibly, possibly avoid a penalty. Now, with all rules, it can be very, very hard to understand what certain words mean in certain contexts. But all I'm saying right now, his playing partners were a, bit, a little bit perplexed, but also, right, social media has taken it by storm. So this all involves Harris English during the third round of the Charles Schwab Challenge. Now, this is during the second hole of the third round. Now, the second hole is a relatively short par four. English hits his second shot a little bit long, ending up on the fringe and the sort of between the fringe and the thick rough. So not on the green, but in a puttable place. Now, as we go through this story, I would love to hear what your opinion is on this. And have you ever been involved in any rules infractions from in your group that you've had to sort of sort out or anything like that? Don't wait to name anybody, but I think this is a very, very interesting topic. This one went in Harris English's favour, but if you'd use slightly different words, wow, <laughs> Wow, we this could have been very, very different. So, guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on Bat Nine Films. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell so you never miss a breaking news story. I wouldn't want you to miss anything because I bring you the hot gossip, the hot news, and keep you up to date with everything that is happening in the golf industry. So, let's dive into this story a little bit more. So, we know the ball has ended up between the fringe and the thick grass. So, the overall story is this. Harris English goes through his full routine, and I want you to keep remembering the overall story here as we go through this, and we've got dialogue from the players in this too. Harris English goes through his full routine on playing his third shot. He then addresses his golf ball, comes up out of his address position, and alerts his caddy and his playing partners the ball has moved. Okay, that's no problem right now, but as the golf rules state this... Rule 26, ball at rest moved by player. When a ball is in play or it has been moved after the player has grounded his club or in a hazard after he has taken his stance, he shall be deemed to have caused the ball to move and the penalty should be one stroke. Now, in this instance, to me, when a player addresses the ball and comes out and then alerts people to the ball being moved, they're insinuating they have addressed the ball and then the ball move, right? That's what I want you to almost keep in your mind right now. Now, I'm going off what I found on articles across the internet and, and what I have found on the rules website. Now, I'm going to go through some of this dialogue here because I think it's really important to go through this exactly as it happened. So, during the incident, he alerted his caddy, Eric Larson, and his playing partner, Hall, and they came over to try and understand exactly what had gone on. Now, Harris English was asked by Hall, did the ball move on the spot? Harris English said, yes, it's gone that way. Now, Hall alerted Harris English to the fact that he's in the general area, and the fact that he's in the general area, him addressing the golf ball and the ball moving would be a one-stroke penalty. Now, in that instance, on that specific ruling, if you then don't place your ball back, it could then be a two-shot penalty. So, vital to get these bit right. Now, it didn't take long for the rules official, Dave Donnelly, to arrive. So, Harris English was asked the question by Dave Donnelly, and English responded, I was taking my practice strokes right here, and kind of looking at the ball a little bit, and pointed that way. So, he's insinuating he's taking his practice strokes inside the golf ball. Donnelly then said, when the ball moved, was the club over there, or was it behind the ball? Insisting, was it sort of taking your practice stroke here, or was it placed down behind the golf ball? Now, this is where English's wording has saved his bacon in terms of penalty strokes. English then said, when it first moved, it was right here. 
placing his putter head beside the golf ball. This is when Hall and his caddy started to look visibly upset. Hall's caddy quickly looked at Hall after English claimed that he had seen the ball move before addressing it. And this is the key bit. Harris English is saying he's seen the ball move before he addressed it. But remember what I said right at the start of the video. Right at the start of the video, he didn't alert his caddy and his playing partners until after he addressed it. This is why Hall is looking very, very visually upset. Now, the important thing here is, again, I want to stress, this is all what we're getting from articles, and this is all what we're seeing from a situation. But the fact that a playing partner is very, very upset, it does make it a little bit fishy, right? So before we go through the overall conclusion, Harris English went on to say, I was going through my routine. I could see in the corner of my eye a little bit and go over there. So insinuating, when he's taking his practice stroke, he could sort of see the ball was moving slightly. This then makes the rules official's decision. When you showed me right there, Donnelly, the rules official said, that could not have caused the ball to trickle. Like where you're that far away from it, it would not have caused it to move and you didn't do anything else to cause it to move. Then it is just in play where it is. So the rules official can only do what the player says and golf's a sport based on honesty so we have to take harris english's word for it but the fishy thing is is that he's used the almost knowing i don't want to say this but i'm going to say it knowing that if the ball moved before he addressed it would incur no penalty but the ball moving once he's addressed it would incur a penalty you can clearly see why hall is visually upset you can clearly see why Hall's a bit like, whoa, 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 hang on. You alerted us to this afterwards, right? Now, after they finished the second hole, there was an investigation. This went on for 60 minutes, and they couldn't find any conclusive evidence to go against what Harris English has said. But what do you think on this story? Definitely a little bit fishy, right? Hmm. It's a tough one. Now, I'm going to read you some of these of what I found all across social media. And I have dug everywhere for these. So, one person has said here, Harris English just cheated at the Charles Schwab and number two. Please watch the video and assess proper penalty, one person wrote. Another person said, the ball moved when he set the putter behind it. The ball not did not move during the practice stroke, as he claimed. Should have been penalised. It's very, very interesting, right? Harris English description of the situation to the rules official seemed mm, favourable for Harris English. And that is what I want you to get from this, is that he has used the wording very favourably to help his situation. Guys, this is a very, very interesting story, right? What do you think on it? People on social media are kicking off, playing partners aren't very happy. Overall, let's just summarise this. English... A goes to his routine, addresses the golf ball, comes out of his address position and says, the ball has moved. He then tells a rules official that he saw in the corner of his eye, once he's doing his practice stroke, the ball already start to move, but he continued to go through his full routine. And that is the key area. He's claiming the ball had started to move prior to him addressing it interesting right guys thanks so much for joining me on today's back nine films story it's a hot one right have a brilliant sunday have a great rest of your weekend and i look forward to joining you on another breaking news story